Welcome my humanoids back to my channel for my gaming opinion and yes these are my opinions. So don't sacrifice your firstborn child to Pinhead, okay? That would be an awful thing to do. And that's a little too extreme. Okay, so NFTs. Why are they here? Who cares about them? Who are the fanboys who are giving these companies a big enough head to think they can implement them without any real good reason why? Like NFTs are annoying. They're bad for the environment. They have no real fucking value. You can't touch it. You can't hold it. You can't communicate. Like, what is it? At least when you get something for pre-ordering, it's a tangible thing that you could actually use as decorations or maybe even use. And like, why are gaming companies doing this? Why? Why? And I think, one, is because they've seen what happened to things like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Bitcoin. Like, how quickly those things catch fire. So they want to get on, on the trend before it really gets going. And unlike cryptocurrency that has some monetary value, you know what doesn't? And a fucking tease. And you know what? Surprisingly... I'm very proud, but surprisingly, this is where gamers draw the line in the sand. And I can't be more grateful, because we already got all these awful overpriced, over-monetized trash, as it is. We don't need any more. We don't need any more. And, like I said, we don't need any more. Gamers are drawing the line here and now. Why? Because I wish more gamers would have drawn it sooner, but like... If there's something I know about gamers, do they they want physical copies of the game? Okay? There's so many people who I know who will never touch a digital because there's a possibility of their game ceasing to exist. Whether it's a game company no longer gonna exist in a couple of years that, that holds your gaming library. Stadia! <coughs> oh, that was a bad cough, sorry. Gamers are very attached to their games, okay? It might be decades before you even have all gamers buy 100% digitally. And the only thing that would help are things like Game Pass. And, like, these companies are going hard on NFTs. Like, hard. From Sega to Atari to Ubisoft. Oh, my God, Ubisoft. Ubisoft will ride off a cliff for those NFTs, Okay? And it's so clearly cash trap, and everyone knows because everyone keeps asking, okay, you want us to give NFT a try? Give us a solid reason. What is it? Like, they want to completely remove, like, Ubisoft themselves want to completely remove the whole purpose of what a game is. Escapism. Nobody wants to go there to grind to get, like, it's a job. Like, I don't even, I don't even remember the stupid slogan they're using. Pay to play what you, they're doing already. NFTs are liability at this point because there's so much backlash because there's no tangible reason for this. Like, video games are escapism, okay? What benefits are NFTs gonna bring? Explain it to us, please. Like, they're all like, oh, you don't get it. You guys will eventually. It's for your own benefit. Why do we want and need this? Why? Who's benefiting? You guys are. You guys. Oh, this stupid play to earn environment. I don't want a secondary job. I don't even want the first job I have. What is this play to earn? Like, and this is why gamers are drawing in the fucking scent. Because at least, okay, I will play devil's advocate here. I hate microtransactions if I have not made that perfectly clear. But at least you have at least a cosmetic, a gun, um, XP boosts, unlockable game characters that you have to con you have to grind for, that you can at least use. Like it's crazy. Like nobody wants. And I don't know what Ubisoft is thinking, but it's not going well for them, like at all. And they keep saying, and just in general, all these gaming companies say, "We're listening. We hear you." You obviously don't and if you do that's even more malicious because you're actively ignoring what we're saying instead of you just not hearing what we're saying oh and oh konami is another one like konami and castlevania for his like birthday for his like 35th birthday i believe like and the backlash is so swift that 
and so much that you know they know you know they know you know they see this like it they're actively ignoring us and when they are more like focused on are the people who play casually okay the people who only play a cod who only play a 2k or play a madden who probably has who have been splurging on microtransactions because they don't play any other games so do i think nfts are here to stay in the gaming sphere hell no why because <clears throat> unless one of the main platformers like nintendo sony xbox really get on this nft board i don't really seeing it holding any weight and if the backlash continues i don't see it holding any way and uh phil spencer you know the captain america of xbox who literally saved him during their darkest times said no that's a cheap way of scamming people and it is like he's not a fan of it and there's a lot of people who take what phil spencer says as god we know we know someone just like that but i can see why because he has done right by xbox and the fan base and i think unless one of the big gaming platforms gives the other ones are not going to consider it at all like i'm um, these people are not dumb i'm pretty sure they are aware of the backlash there's even been some game companies who have tried to implement nft i think indie company team 17 who was who saw the backlash and was like oh ye who just yeeted himself out of the nft game because it was bad it was bad it was bad and that's one of the reasons i don't believe is that i if i'm pr i can't say what phil spencer feels about nft's goals speaks for all of them but i would assume they have the best interest about their consumers in mind and what i've stated earlier gamers are not gonna let this go they don't want it we don't want it and we know how with this would go if we let them do it because we let them put microtransactions and fucking and loot boxes and look what happened they abused it they say they were it wasn't good they said it wasn't going to and they did and those have more value than nft do because at least you're actually using whatever the fuck they give you and the sphere around NFTs in general, just the whole conversation, are not really a good one. There, it's like it's like becoming its own form of Google State at this point. It's becoming a joke that we're supposed to be convinced it's the next step in gaming. It is not, sweetie. It is not. It's the next step of pushing me to lose my hope for gaming in general, because it's getting so hard to love gaming as once as much as I once was, but. Like, we gamers, we do have an abusive relationship with these game companies. The fact that we're paying $60 to $70 for some of these games is crazy to me. Especially with inflation going up. What? We can't spend all shit? I can't spend all shit? There's some gamers who are like, no, I want it. They're very minuscule, but it's like, what? Why? Please explain to me. Please explain to me. The purpose and the use and how we benefit from it and then maybe i'll consider nfts and i'm pretty sure a lot of people would some of these nfts are just like a number on a digital helmet like what please tell me humanoids i'm not losing my mind and that gaming needs to get spanked it needs to be learned a lesson and all this shit is probably gonna have like i said it's gonna have a little mini crash like it's too much gaming is literally an escapism not play to earn what i don't want to earn shit i just want to I want to veg out, okay? No thinking, please. Like, let me know what you think, humanoids. Like, I cannot be the only one who's losing a little hope in the gaming uh, world. Let me know what you think, humanoids. Let me know your opinions. Like, do you want NFTs? Come on, come on in. And if you do, please tell me why. Please tell me how they any value into the game. And if you think it's gonna last, and if you don't think it's gonna last, how long do you give it? I give it about two years. You know, some companies gotta come out with NFTs and watch them fail and burn. Which reminds me, didn't an NFT come out recently? And only like 36 was sold and it like fell and burned. Counter Strike. Was it count Counter Strike? Oh my god, it doesn't matter. You guys will correct me down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it was Counter Strike. They had like digital like numbers or something on helmets and like NFTs. Oh, I've seen so much stuff at NFTs. They're like molding together now. 
You think Ubisoft is trying to take top tier on the worst gaming company of the year? Trying to kick EA off that? Because EA actually said they, they're not even thinking about touching NFTs right now because it don't look good. It looks actually more like a liability. EA don't want to do that. EA's a money hungry grabbing shit and even EA doesn't want it. EA's a money hungry grabbing company and even they don't want to touch that shit right now. Anyway, humanoids, I'm ranting so much. Just leave all your opinions down in the comments. How you feel about NFTs? Do you think they're gonna take over? Are they here to stay? Hopefully not! I have all my social media links down below. Follow me all on my social medias when I get into shenanigans. Do all the likey, subscribe things. Do good things for goodness sake, and I'll see you next. Bye, my humanoids. Bitcoin, like